That's right. Along the edge. Good. That's good. Pedro knows me. Walker's not good as fucking normal. I'm not. That is good, Mr. Roy. Please sit down. Yeah. Look, if you're not well enough for the charity dinner, I maybe go with this handsome young man. Okay. Now this is a little trickier. This is the pro preception. That's side to side. Turn it off. So I made inside a fucking commercial. You turn it off. There you go. You turn it off. Mm -hmm. Come on. Uh, Marcia or Marcia or however we say her name isn't fucking around. Oh, no. You turn it on, goddamn. And if you can't walk, I'm gonna take some young dude with me. Uh -huh. Tomorrow night, it's a, kind of a big night for me. I'm making Dad's racquetball ball speech. I just kind of assume you're hopefully is a yes. Are you serious? that showed the U.S. economy maintained a brisk pace of growth at a 2.8% annual rate. That was all right. Great, they're all fucking nuts, but great. Hey, can you get onto my nuts about my speech? And can you go on the late night guys to uh, you know, cook me up a bit? A bit? Yeah, a bit. You know, a selection of jokes and riffs. You're gonna do a joke? Who's that? It's quite a haunting image, isn't it? The eye almost seems to follow you around the room. What is this? You know your client? The future senator? Apparently. This is her husband's asshole. What? Fuck off. Can you prove that? He posted it himself with the caption, Check out my <laughs> asshole. <laughs> it's on a site called the uh, Filthy Rich. Has everybody got it? Um, just us, I believe, right now. Leaked to ATN. Uh, my, my buddy thought I'd be intrigued. All right, we'll bring it on. Ooh, feisty. What, they're not gonna run it? Dirty, it's weird. And it's evidence of precisely the kind of disgusting, liberal, metro butt love that makes our viewership angry enough to buy pharmaceuticals. Oh, okay, fuck you very much. Okay, well, A to be the bearer of bad news. What do we call it? An intimate part of his body? No, sounds like his dick. Or just... his anus? Anus. At breakfast. That's a fucking juice dropper. A very private part of his body. It's boring. She needs to get more sleep. Karen, uh, you sleeping okay? I thought so. Yeah? You sleeping on your face? Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm just oh. kidding. You're a queen. How about the girls? How about the FIE, Mark. Fuckable in an emergency. Now, we don't call it an emergency. Who will? Uh, you sleeping good? Yeah. You sleeping yeah. on your face? <laughs> hey, Dad. I didn't know you were coming in. Did, did Jerry? Do I live to listen? Hey, come on. It's for you. She's making sure you're not selling any more of the company from under me. Oh, you want to get into that? You, know, you, you put a hole in us by taking on a shitload of debt. But look, this is, uh, it's great to see you. You sure you're okay? Maybe you should get a briefing and get some rest, yeah? Yeah. I think you need to talk to your husband. It's not going away because ATN won't let it go away, so I think you should talk to your father. Trauma. Well, I mean, what did you expect? <clears throat> I just hope the scene plan holds. If it does, look out, Middle East, because I can fix anything. I just want you to know you're the best damn bunch of people I ever had the honor to work for. Thank you very much. Here he comes. Bill. 
the best boss that ever lived. It's like Mandela fought Santa and gave birth to Bill. Did you have that one? I see you came in. Uh, yeah, I did. You did know. You're a liar. Come on, genial old fucker. Get in here already, for it's time for me to retire. Tom, hey, Bill. Sorry about it. No problem, that. Bill. I just hope one day I can eventually inspire some more affection. <laughs> uh, this is uh, this is Greg, a new kid I took under my wing when I started. Oh, I'm actually a part of to hear your life story, Greg. Don't need to hear your life <laughs> story. So, uh, thanks for everything. No. But, uh, listen, before I do the final photo, there's a... Uh, thing I need to mention. Cool. You know, just us. Oh, just, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great no. to meet you. Yeah, thanks for understanding. Thank you, Bill. You're welcome. Okay. So, uh, I turned off the Wi Fi, and, uh, this is, uh, this is air gapped. So I'm gonna. Create a word document for you, and then it's, uh, it's question. Okay, well, have a talk with him. Tell him to butt out because we are running the show now. Tell him he needs yeah. to go back to bed and eat some soup, get some rest. Look, relax, okay? Yeah. The, uh, you know, the dinosaurs having one less roar at the meteor <clears throat> for wipes him out. But look, hey, you're doing a great job. Thank you. Need Thank you. Need you. Need you. It's actually good to hear. What a big job. I know it, bro. Tell me about it. Well, if you want some help, I can help you. We can tag team in on that speech that says I lost track. Um, I guess, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it is a CEO thing, so, I mean, like I have a whole thing prepared with jokes, and so... You're doing jokes? Why does everyone keep saying that? <laughs> it's funny. Yup. Sure you're gonna kill it. Uh, who are you taking? Uh, no one. Rob is busy. Doesn't want to? Got so, uh, Miguel. Well, so look. How's that gonna look? You CEO, can you get an ugly sister to go to the ball? You know, I'd like to take mm. Anna Newman, the blonde chick from ATA. Oh shit, yeah, why the fuck that in a minute? Take her. It's not cool. I'm her boss. Oh, come on. What a pathetic beta cut. Uh, um, excuse me, uh, would it be cool? Because I have something very secret in my pants. Uh, would it be okay to show, please? Or is that a trigger warning? Jesus, Roman, you're a walking fucking lawsuit. Uh, no. I'm honest. I'm just like, hey, I like your face. I want to fuck your face. Can I come on your face? Which is why my face <laughs> is drowning in pussy, and you're not even fucking your wife. Too far. Too far. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it just has sex, though. That's what they had there. Yeah. Did they go back to the hotel? <clears throat> that was obviously like a one-off. No, thank you. Please leave me alone. Please, thank you. Oh shit. He probably got a bunch of lawsuits. Morning. Because the NDAs is not disclosures. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fucking lost <laughs> draft. <laughs> What would you think about me taking over the Lemon Foundation? I mean, could we pivot away from sick kids and contemporary dance and toward tax reform? Huh? To be frank, everyone's dancing anyway, and there are a lot of charities that cater to sad sacks. God knows I love them, but hey, what about lending a hand to stimulate free enterprise? I'm worried that that if if it does come out, and it's sort of it's kind of bound to come out, and it's while I'm in charge, I'm dead because I know, and I'm not doing anything. But if I do do something, Babe. I've got to you know do something. Right. And I'd like to, you know, we do it at the Rep Depot now. Please go check every other floor. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Now, why is everyone standing on this side of the room? The room is growing on this side. Let's lead them. What? Like sheep. Well, let's lead them like sheep. Go around this way and corral them. Corral them this way. Okay? okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go this way. Okay. okay. Hello, everyone. No, 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 no. Everyone. Hi. Come on, everybody. Hi, I'm sorry to interrupt. You all look fabulous. I just want to say, if you're having trouble getting a drink over there, identical bar over here. Enjoy the space. There's acres of it. So, have a good time. Signature cocktail, two avant garde. The servers are creating bottlenecks. They put pesto in the gin. It's a disaster. There's no flow, Stephanie. The evening is congealing. There was no flow, Mark Morris. Okay. Uh, yeah, so my, my, my dad's first wife. Uh, I thought she was going to, you know, empty the ghettos and 
get everyone into ballet when they started this thing. Yeah. So patronizing. Um, what, what are you drinking? Uh, a white wine. Beer of white wine. A couple of the kids who got into New York City Ballet still um, send us cards at Christmas. I guess that's nice. Or, uh, no, that's nice. Yeah, it's... Uh, is this a... It's, I don't think that's a fair characterization. Have you ever heard of the Sin Cake Eater? Is this Jerry? He would come to the funeral, no and he would eat all the little cakes they laid out on the corpse. He ate up all the sins. And you know what? The Sin Cake Eater was very well paid. And so long as there was another one who came along after he died, it all worked out. So this may not be the best situation, but there are harder jobs, and you get a fuckload of cake. Can I, can I ask you where you heard about this, please? We heard about the fucking press conference. No. Yes, you did. No, no I did not. Yes, you did, you filthy piece of shit. I had to plant you in the kitchens and have the boil in the room. Was... <gasps> because you just touched me, Greg. Tom, I'm sorry. Your spittle was actually <laughs> like... This is extraordinary. I'm, I'm just going to do about this. Is this assault going to be ongoing? No. You're telling me you didn't do it? I promise, I swear to God, who the fuck did it then, Greg? Because I only told you. Believe me, man. You didn't only tell that. I told your wife, too. You actually, you actually told your wife about the press conference. You didn't tell him about no damn press conference. You were just telling him all the shits. Yeah. It's your wife who did that. That's some devil's advocate shit right there, baby. Hey, Dad. Um, so, I don't want to shit talk Kendall, uh, he ain't <laughs> the job. But, uh, He's got some I think, stuff I, I, think I speak for everyone here, and I say it's great to see you back. Mm, thank you, sir. Yeah. I'll kiss uh, the ass. One thing, um, and I don't mind, it's fine. But I need, uh, but, Frank to um, go. I do want to say that Frank is what to me now? He's vice chairman. And your general advisor. Um, why is that? What's the situation with the park members? Park members? Mm -hmm. Well, attendance is a good, but the occupied room lights are down from last year. I'm just waiting for Tom to get his feet, like, fully under the table. The guy is a flake is actually the truth of it, but I'm on it. I'm on it. When are you, uh, when are you coming back in again? You need to soak up Frank's experience. Okay, but what does that mean? It means, do what he fucking tells you. So sorry about the butter, guys. <laughs> I'm snapping about the She, she, she don't care about the butter. This fucking catering. Who was it? So remember, texting so is fun. encouraged tonight. Mm -hmm. Please no sexting, uh, but texting is fine. Governor. Governor. Let's get those numbers in. I want to see everybody's name up on that screen. And on behalf of everyone here at Recme, thank you for your donation. See, there's a rule, right? You can't even, like, if you're the governor, you can't even be, like, trying to do I, shit against all your friends in here in this thing. I don't right? know. You, you, hold on. you just wouldn't be able to come. You know what I mean, babe? Oh, my goodness. It's a popularity thing. Thank you. <laughs> I would go. go. You stick around. Oh, I'm sorry, am I interrupting something? If you like her so much, why don't you just ask her a fucking number? Well... Uh, no. I mean, you clearly want to, right? Grace, would you like to give this man your number? Yeah, I'd like to give him my number. You good? Not tonight. I'm gonna knock him out of the park. No, they're all against Kendall. They're all like, fuck Kendall. You good? I tried. Good luck. They're all against Kendall, baby. They all, all of them are. Jules, <laughs> best foot forward. You can do it. Good luck. Thanks. Nervous? Not too bad. I had a thing with the butter, but it seems to be okay. <laughs> I had a thing with the butter. Where are you from? Bushwick. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, wonderful. Great effort. Conroy. People have a lot of preconceptions about me, too. It's difficult. I mean, not like I'm sure everything is for you, but you know. Right. 
Right. See, I actually have this idea that social equality could be affected by a complete eradication of fascism. Not right now, bro. Just people like you and I, doing it together, fighting it out without all the bullshit. Okay, this is me. Grandma. What are you talking about right now, bro? I'm about to go dance. Where's Chad's friend? Opportunity to welcome her fiance Tom Wamsgans to the family. Welcome to the family, Tom. Shit. Now my name is out there. <laughs> it's so, so I got a virus. important that children are supported and encouraged. And uh, everything I've done, I've done for my children. And I'm proud of the way that they've pulled together during my issue. And, in particular, my son, Kenneth. Oh, shit. Well done, Ken. Ken. And now, uh, for one last announcement. Oh, my tonight, God. It's I'm Officially announcing, I'm back. You better believe, I'm back. Full time. Full time. Better than ever. Taking my spot back. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Off the record, off, off. You seem like a nice guy. Thank you. Ava told me to come. Asked. I mean, I asked her to just, you know, ask your people. It's fine. I'm just seeing someone. But you know, you're the boss. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not that guy. Yeah, sure. No. I'm, but actually, you're the guy right now. Shit. I'm sorry. What did she say, Ava? Nothing. Come on, please, just... To make sure that you had a really good time. Was she joking? Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I, I, I'd prefer it if you didn't say anything. Yeah, well, uh, 
I think I should. Please don't. Okay, sure. Please don't. Come on, man, this is our charity. I mean, how much a plate? You gotta get at least a blowjob. That's the law. That's not the law. Ugh, okay. Well, it's the ethical code that, and I hate to say this, but she's behaved rather unethically here. Who put the thing in the thing that said that he was going to do that speech? Yeah. Was it Connor? episode five of succession and man what a great show we got going on here totally bingeable i want to hit that next one right now who is sabotaging kendall i don't know but it could be, any of them. It could be anybody <laughs> obviously it was probably um connor uh, no uh Marcia? fucking the kid the cousin now oh. we know he working with uh, uh jerry jerry now it's like he could be doing all the sabotaging thing and why is jerry helping sabotage everything i don't know but that that virus bone that Tom is holding in his hand right now, I don't, I, I, I don't know what I would do if that was me. To be honest with you, um, and at the same time, right, Bob or Bill, the guy who just retired, if it was to come out, wouldn't he still be liable to? Or I don't know the rules of that, right? Because he ain't in charge no more. But like, bro, all you gotta do is look at the dates and be like, you were the one in charge too. So they both. I don't understand how you can pass off the thing, but maybe that's some lawyer shit that I don't know. But I, I don't think know. I think what Tom said though, we all have the virus, so we would we're all gonna die. So yeah. once it comes out, uh, Bill or whatever his name is would still be held accountable as well. Like, right. We anybody that hears this information and knows this information is gonna die. It's good. Oh, so Bill already know, but mm -hmm. it's probably it's a possibility. Yeah. It'll go down. Okay. So all right. So everybody in, in jeopardy of it now. I wonder if Logan Roy knows. It probably doesn't. He probably doesn't know because, like he said, he like his soldiers to damn take care of business, and I don't need to know about it. Plausible deniability mm -hmm. is what that's called right there. But man, they got a lot of problems on their cruise lines over there. So um, yeah, I don't know what time we're gonna do with that situation. But man, this family drama of of, of instigation and and manipulation, it, it's just it, this is high stakes right here too, and it's. It is very good to watch. Very, very good to watch. And the power struggle of what's trying to be. So I think it's going to be interesting to me to see when Logan Roy actually gets a little bit more stable and full in control. Then we can see the power dynamics and all the things that would normally be happening right now um, start to happen again. And we see how this, this would transform. But um, right now, it is the getting there. Is awesome for me and I love every minute of it this is my jam right here and I wish I could just push another one but I'm glad it's in rotation so I cannot wait to see another one yeah I mean I totally agree I think the big thing outside of the reveal with Tom which I felt that anxiety that was palpable that is like again if you try to think of yourself <clears throat> in that same situation what would you do 
and navigating this world of sharks, it, it wouldn't be easy. There's no right answer. Like, yeah. you're fucked. Essentially, he's just fucked. And I feel like it's definitely done on purpose because the family was like, you wanted to be so involved, you get the shittiest piece there of the pie. Go. Here you go. Eat your shit cake every day. Um, or your sin cake, however Jerry said that. Um, I thought it was a great reveal that the cousin essentially is working with Jerry, and he is the one that leaked the thing with Tom. So... That's one to look for, and he has been hearing different pieces of the pie, so he might have been even been the one that like leaked it about uh, the the arrangement that Kendall was working on. So he seems to be the snake in the grass that the other mm -hmm. siblings aren't aware of. So we'll have to see how that plays out. I think the other big standout moment was seeing the power that Marcia has over Logan as far as being like, you need to get your shit together. Yeah. You need to boss the fuck she up. Not, she not she's definitely running that shit. Yeah. She's definitely running that dynamic and she's like, we're gonna take back all of our shit yeah. and you need to you need to do this. Um yeah. which I thought was I, I feel like that was teased in the first four episodes, but clearly uh made clear in this yeah. episode as far as uh their interactions there. And then as far as uh who came after Kendall um, in reference to putting that in there, I'm not sure, I, maybe they made it obvious and we just missed it, but I can't, I'm not sure who did it, uh, but that was clever as fuck. And Connor, finally getting to see why he's, because he seems so apart from the family, like, it just seemed like he was such a chill, you know, humble guy, so it was <laughs> great to see him in his full-on, like, rage, and like, I'm like, oh yeah, he's part of this family, clearly. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was, that was interesting, and I'm glad you guys didn't spoil it in all the conversations we had leading up to this, too, about us making remarks about him. Nobody was like, just wait and see. So that was cool to be able to see that, uh, yeah. uh, in this episode without having anything spoiled or any expectations uh, put by the community. So I agree, it's, it is it is one of those shows that you <clears throat> absolutely binge because it's gonna be nothing but drama. Yeah. Um, but I appreciate the fact that it's in rotation so we can see it more consistently. Yeah. That's the drama we're here for though. Yeah, for All sure. right, well look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Succession, season one, episode number five. And until next time, peace.